Hassan Campbell arrested. I know some of y'all don't like him, but we supposed to pray for all of our brothers. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? Baby in Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I so yeah. So apparently. There was a situation with uh, fellow YouTuber Hassan Campbell. So before we even go into this video, the first thing that I want to say is I wish him and his family well. I do not know the entirety of the circumstances revolving around this particular topic that we're about to discuss. So I in no way want to make it seem like I'm marginalized. Like, I'm marginalizing this man because of his behavior. Before I get all the way into this, I also want to add this. Sometimes, when we're being erratic, even though we are correct, we are right, and everything that we are saying is what we believe to be the truth, it can come off. Like we're having an episode, and when I say we, I mean just people in general. It can't come off like we're having an episode or a, psych a psychotic break. Now with all of that being said, Hassan Campbell went on his live today. Upon Hassan Campbell going on his live, how do you say he uh, said that basically somebody, I'm, I'm not clear on this, but basically somebody either left a gun at his house in order for them to later be able to call the police and say there's a gun at the residence and get Hassan Campbell in trouble. Or someone broke into his house. He was fighting them off like it was Captain America or something. Got the gun from him. I don't know if the person got away. He's in the house beat up. I'm not clear. I didn't see the whole video that he was explaining. I only seen some of the video. Now, with all of that being said, I need all of you guys out there that just think that it's cool to hate on YouTube content creators, that it's cool to just decide that, you know what, we're going to ruin this guy's life because we have a difference of an opinion. Or that think it's cool I want this person to do or say a thing they won't, so I'm going to harass them forever. I want y'all to understand, that is not the way to grow a YouTube brand. Now, I'm not going to tell you to stop doing it, but I'm going to say that that is not the way to grow your brand. So I hear somebody talking about this. I'm not going to bash a homie that was doing it because, um, to be perfectly honest with you, I don't think many things that they said were inaccurate. One of the things that they said was, okay, so somebody left the gun at the house, allegedly, allegedly. Um, why would you pick the gun up with your bare hands? Um, just so we could be clear, if anybody ever leave a firearm at your house and, and you're scared of the fact that they left the firearm at your house and you're going to alert the authorities do not touch said firearm remove you and your family from the premises go off somewhere a safe distance and then call the police and explain to them the situation now me myself i say go on live but do not pick up the weapon i'm gonna explain a couple of reasons why you don't pick up the weapon one you're saying the weapon isn't yours so if you don't pick up the weapon they have no way to really attach it to you except for it was in your residence now you're saying somebody left it there an argument can always be made by your lawyer why would you just have a gun in your house and call the police to come pick it up that don't even make sense 
Especially when you can literally just take a gun to the police station and get a hundred bucks for it. You understand what I'm saying? So Hassan Campbell is allegedly, allegedly, trying to be set up. He thinks the police has something to do with it or the Democrats or the Republicans. I don't know. But he thinks there's a uh, nefarious plot to destroy him and his platform. Now, with this being said, I do believe that there are people trying to destroy Hassan Campbell and his platform because there's people trying to destroy every single platform that is doing well. I'll say this again. There are people trying to destroy every single platform that is doing well. So I'm agreeing with Hassan Campbell on that. And for everybody that don't know, Hassan Campbell has recently say, said that he was, um, how do you say, hacked. His IG was hacked. And so he had to make a whole new IG account. So if his IG was actually hacked and if this gun that was at his residence that he is saying is not his was planted both of these ideas could lend or give validity to the other i just wanted to let everybody know about that for everybody that don't know first i'm gonna need everybody to leave down in the comment section do y'all believe hassan campbell if you believe hassan campbell can you put some prayers up also because at the end of the day whether i believe him or not i'm praying for the brother also, if you do not believe Hassan Campbell, could you just leave a reason right by the, this nigga lying, on why you would think he would do such a thing? Y'all do understand that this cannot be beneficial to his channel. He just had a, he showed the gun with an extendo clip with rounds in it. I know some of y'all think this is how he's gonna, you know, blow up to the next. This cannot be, YouTube cannot like this. This wasn't an educational video. Just so we could be clear, people could put guns on YouTube all day, every day. There are tons of educational videos on YouTube about guns. Um, I believe they even got the videos up of um, the actors that practice for John Wick. They got gun shooting ranges. They got stuff on youtube with with guns are allowed so we just to be clear on that but when hassan campbell just spoke about these guns he wasn't talking about the guns in anything but in the commission for a possible crime youtube might not like that so i don't think that this can be a clout chasing moment it might be though what do i know another thing i want to ask y'all just so we could be clear is do y'all think he was inebriated by any type of outside forces like alcohol, drugs of any kind, or anything. Because we do remember the situation that happened, and I believe it was the Burger King, where Hassan Campbell was a little intoxicated, or a lot intoxicated, and he berated that lady because he didn't know where to order his food from. First of all, classic video. Second, I feel bad for that lady. She didn't deserve that. <laughs> she deserved zero of what the fuck was going on, just so we could be clear. So let's pray for Hassan Campbell. I just wanted to drop this video, let y'all know how I feel about it. Um, I I just can't sit back and say that I think it's, it's Cap. I just hope that no matter what happens, the brother gets the help that he needs, whether the help be the police doing their job and finding the people dropping guns off or whether the help be find somebody for him to speak to so that if this is not a real thing, we can solve that problem. Because at this point, I'm not saying that these things aren't real that's happened to Hassan Campbell. I am definitely not saying, for everybody that don't know, um, I have a, a, a group of people that sit around all day making videos disliking every video i make put up spreading lies trying to create rumors and they literally sit around on the phone all day thinking about me and how they can destroy this platform this is not an exaggeration i wish it was because i'm not that important so i can just imagine the type of people that hassan campbell has that's 
trying to attack him and his platform in the stress that he must be going through. But also, let's not forget, he has a family, he has daughters. We want the best for everyone. So maybe for a moment, people could wish him help. Like, if he needs the police, the police. There's a different type of help that he needs. Let's pray he gets that also. Look, YouTube is not what people think it is. When you start doing well on YouTube, you get so much hate, it's retarded. Because there's always somebody that swears up and down they can do what you do better than you. So I'm not here to bash this man. I'm not here to talk trash about this man. And I am absolutely not here to pile on. But I want all of y'all to think about something. Just one moment. Don't let this go. Keep this on your mind. And don't forget. There has a moment. There has part of me. There has been a moment in every single which one of our lives. Where we've done something. And because we have had. Or we have been in. A moment of distress. Our actions. Or misinterpreted like comment subscribe join the notification gang hashtag Bronx Bombers let's get it I love y'all take care of each other hug the kids for me I haven't forgotten about you and that's all I got on this one I'm out if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it. Which was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it?